Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from today's title, we are doing a rose gold cut crease makeup tutorial and I am featuring the one and only Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight kit. So let's get right on to it. I know some of you guys were asking me about how I do my brows and kind of like an updated brow routine. So I'm gonna show you guys on camera right now what I do. Um, so I started off and I just combed in my hairs with the spoolie and then I'm going in with my NYX Tame and Frame pomade um, it's kind of like a gel to I guess pomade yeah is the right word it's a pomade consistency so it's kind of like a little bit oily but not really a little jelly and almost uh, cream like and I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my brows I'm starting with the lower end of my brows to kind of get the shape and then I'm filling in as I need the front part of my eyebrows I like to keep a little bit more sparse so that they look a little bit bushy but um, anyways, once I feel like I have filled them into my liking, I go ahead and I clean it up with some concealer. I'm using the Morphe G15 brush, and I'm going to go ahead and set my eyes as well as the concealer on my lids. So, starting off with our Morphe 35O palette, I did go in and try and use this Artiste brush. Um, it's an oval, I think like four or three brush. It's one of the smaller ones. I love the way that it gave me a nice even um, base for my transition, but I am not quite used to them yet, so I went back in with my brushes. I'm using a small like little synthetic uh, tapered brush to go ahead and outline the line. We are going to be doing a cut crease today, so you want to make sure that you have that nice clean crease. So basically what I'm doing is I'm outlining where I want the transition to start. So that's basically where my crease is going to start and I'm using a dark chocolate color. You can use any palette really, so long as it has some nice warm browns. Now I'm going in with a NYX fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out because you don't want any harsh lines. Then going back into another Morphe brush because I felt like it wasn't blended enough, I'm going to be picking up the G18, which is like a tapered buffing brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and buff that sucker out. The key to a really nice gradient cut crease is to keep layering and buffing, so don't be afraid to sit there for 20 minutes. Next up, I'm going to be using this beautiful product. It's the Stila Cosmetics Liquid Eyeshadow. I think it's called the Magnificent Metals, and I'm using the color Rose Gold Retro. It's kind of like a more on the pink side rose gold, super metallic and shimmery shade. I'm gonna use the doe foot applicator to go ahead and cut my crease, which is basically just lining my lid. Now the cool thing about the shadow is that you do not need any primer under so you can go ahead and put it on a blank lid and you really don't need to add any glitter. You can if you want to but at that point it's just preference. So once I feel like I've gotten my eyes to the way I want them I'm going to go ahead and apply some wing liner. I am using the Revlon Color Stay Wing Liner but you can use any wing liner that you like. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply my wing. I know I don't do this on camera either, so I wanted to make sure that you guys saw so that there's no like questions or how did you get it to be like that? You're watching me do it. So once you feel like you've gotten your liner to where you want it, and it took me like three minutes for each eye, you can go ahead and start off with your foundation. Today I am mixing in two foundations. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me that I always use, and then I'm introducing this Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. The foundation number is I think N40, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that onto my skin. And then moving on to concealing and highlighting, I am using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I know I've been saying that I needed a new concealer on this channel, but um, it's in the works. So until then, I'm going to use what I like. And I'm just going to go ahead and highlight my face. it out your skin you can go ahead and start your contouring I did apply Laura Mercier translucent setting powder all over my face to set it so this way I can go in with the rest of my powders I am using a new contour slash bronzer today woohoo um, it's called the makeup forever pro fusion bronzer yep that's what it's called um, it's in the color 30m so it's kind of the deeper shade I do really love it it's like the perfect combination of cool and warm it doesn't leave my face looking chalky like the Anastasia Beverly Hills did and it's waterproof so you can definitely go on for a long time with this bronzer and it won't budge Thank you. 
I didn't tell you guys, I did apply some lashes off camera. Um, it's the Lily Lashes in Goddess. So now I'm gonna rehydrate my face because you know all those powders can make you look kind of cakey. And going in for the star of the show, it's the Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration highlight kit. And I'm using the colors 143 and Glow Getter and I'm mixing those in. If you guys are wondering what kind of brush I'm using, I am using an eyeshadow brush. I feel like it gives you a more precise application and it's the Morphe M511 brush. I am going in and wetting my brush as well so I can get that really nice wet highlighted effect even though these highlights by themselves are super pigmented. Look at that, oh, I'm in love. So finally for my lips, I did line with a Revlon nude lip pencil. It really doesn't matter what you line with because with this Coco Collection Clo Money liquid lipstick, it is so opaque that you won't see under. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that onto my lips. And there you have it. This is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. This is perfect if you're looking for a super nude glam prom look or just going out and looking super glamorous. Thank you guys so much for watching and until the next video. Bye.